Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on Manage Tuning Profiles. Tuning your uh, Linux server is uh, relatively simple if you use the standard templates. Um, it's a, there's a powerful daemon called uh, Tune, which uh, dynamically auto tunes your Linux server and it's based on information it gathers on the system use. Uh, and the various components you use, and just tries to squeeze the very maximum out of your system. Um, it does it automatically dynamically. Um, it can do like disk elevations, so there's configs, trans transparent pages, file management options, and custom scripts. So it looks all those sort of things and tries to discover and work out exactly what kind of system you're using. So, for example, if you've got like a, a virtual machine, it knows it's a virtual working in a virtual as a virtual machine. It may do some particular tuning um, values for that. So you can see that you can actually um, manually set which tuning profile you want, and this is basically the uh, objective as part of the exam. So it may or may not be installed by default, but we can double check that. So that's just the standard. Let's elevate ourselves first. So DNF install and it's tuned or tune D, tune D and let it really install. Not ready. So it's already installed, which makes sense because it should be installed, but you never know, so we'll just make sure it's there. So the next thing um, is to do, use the system CTL to uh, enable tuned and start it now. Okay, and we'll just do a enable two. Okay, and then we can do system CTL stasis running, which looks good. Cool, so that's the first very first bit. So we can now actually talk to the daemon itself. So tune D means ADM or administration and then active. And we can see virtual guest, which makes sense because I'm running it in VirtualBox client. So it's obviously detected that I'm running it as a virtual desk uh, a guest and it's automatically created that profile and applied it. We can actually do a, a list, tune ADM list, to get the list of current profiles that's available in here. Uh, so you can see, see things like um, network performance, maybe you've got like a, you run it as a router, it could be a router of some sort, you might want to do that. You may want to say power, low power consumption, um, throughput performance, and you can you'll see the virtual guest one we've got for optimizing run inside the virtual guest. We've also got a virtual host, so if it's going to be running as a KVM, so or um, be able to host virtual other virtual guests then you would want the virtual host. So you can see like the desktops and stuff like that. It's quite a few different options. And you can you can actually go through and set a particular one using tune ADM and profile and then select whichever one you want. So let's set I'll say okay and then we can just check if that's active. And you can see it's kind of set the profile set. And then we can ask it what it does it recommend. So we can do a clear, tuned, ADM, recommend. So it's recommend that it goes to virtual desk. And we can also then find it off if we want to. We can see ADM active, no current active profile. So we've completely turned it off. But you can see it recommends that we use the virtual guest profile, so I am going to select that. So tuned ABM virtual guest. Oh, I forget the profile option. It will set that. You can then check if it's active. Yes, the profile is done. And that is it. So it will then automatically use that profile from now on. It will set the various variables um, based on that. 
um, you could do like a profile info if you wanted to get a bit more information. So you choose ABM profile underscore info and then virtual guest. So much there's not really much there, but you can just see it's an optimized running virtual guest. You can um, look this up on the Red Hat website to find out more information about it and exactly how it's tuning the um, the usage of the system. So it's pretty simple to enable. Um, there's not really not much to it, so it's just a it's a quick object objective that actually added fairly recently. So it's one to watch out for. But yeah, just just got to learn the uh, tuned ABM option, and then you know you've got the um, profile option to set a new profile if they ask you to do that, um, or the list you can then look, list the current profiles. Um, so again, as always, you can use the man pages. There's probably a man page for this. So just do man tuned and you're going to get all the options there. So it might, you can use minus P pro for profile. You can do that sort of stuff. You can see any, any files that uh, I use, so etc. Tune, etc. Cool, and I'll, I guess there's an info as well. Yep, so there's an info on the command line options. Awesome. That uh, is covering the, uh, that particular um, objective. So, as always, I've um, stuck my um, affiliates up on the screen. So you've got uh, my Sophos uh, option, which is a great anti uh, antivirus for your Windows PCs or even Linux. And it's totally free. And there are some more uh, premium features if that's something you're interested in, like um, uh, Hitman Pro, etc. Uh, and there's also like banking protection and all that stuff is really, really powerful. Um, you've got the hosting uh, VPS, which is um, a fantastic VPS, very, very cheap. And also uh, you can actually run that, run a CentOS uh, 8 uh, entry into there and you can actually use that to, um, use it to practice on the go. I've done a video of that, of that, with that title um, back in my catalog, you can check that out. Um, and finally, got my um, Kofi, got my Kofi page, um, or if you want to um, drop me some small change for to buy my coffee, and if you find this video is helpful, and if you're really interested, you can get uh, some. There's some merch out there on uh, T Repu uh, uh, Public, and the link is also there in the description. So yeah, any of the links are all in the description. So check them out if you're interested. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching my videos, uh, much appreciate. Like if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't already, and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of any new videos. Uh, thanks again for watching, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.